Our story begins in 16th century Italy with Scipion del Ferro. Del Ferro was very talented and discovered a formula that solved the so-called depressed cubic from the original cubic equation ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d equals zero to the depressed cubic in standard form x cubed plus mx equals n. In those times, continued service depended on the ability to prevail in public challenges that could be issued from any person at any time. Mathematicians like Del Ferro always had to be ready to do scholarly battle with challengers, and the consequence of a public humiliation could be disastrous to one's career. On his deathbed, Del Ferro passed his solution secret along to his student, Antonio Fior. Although Fior was not as good a mathematician as his mentor, he rashly went on the offensive with his newfound weapon and in 1535 challenged the noted Russian scholar Niccolo Fontana, known as Tartaglia the Stammerer. Tartaglia studied the depressed cubic for many nights and finally he discovered the solution. He could now solve all of Fior's problems with ease, while his less gifted challenger turned in a dismal performance of his own and so was disgraced. Then a newcomer emerged, Girolamo Cardano. Cardano asked Tartaglia to divulge his secret to the solution of certain kinds of cubics. After much pleading, Tartaglia finally revealed the secret of the depressed cubic to Cardano in 1539. Cardano took a written oath to never reveal Tartaglia's secrets to anyone or ever publish them. Our last character in this story is the young Ludovico Ferrari. Ferrari arrived at Cardano's door asking for work. Ferrari quickly became Cardano's pupil and Cardano shared Tartaglia's secret with his brilliant young protege, and together the two of them made astounding progress. Cardano discovered how to solve the general cubic equation. Unfortunately, Cardano's work rested upon reducing the general cubic to a depressed form and thus ran up against his pledge of secrecy to Tartaglia. In 1543, Cardano and Ferrari traveled to Bologna to look at Del Ferro's papers and found the solution to the depressed cubic. So Cardano no longer was prohibited from publishing this result since his prompt was from Del Ferro and not Tartaglia. In 1545, Cardano published his masterpiece, Ars Magna. In the preface of his book, Cardano gives credit to Del Ferro and Tartaglia where credit was due. Tartaglia was furious and he and Ferrari sent angry letters to each other until the conflict culminated in a public debate between the two in 1548. Ferrari was victorious against Tartaglia, so Tartaglia went home.